Hello, this is David with entry number 985. Coming here in uh, the apartment. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record today because uh, walking around with my groceries and stuff, it was just too damn heavy and too damn hot to record uh, anything substantive when I was uh, walking around. Uh, I didn't travel at all this week weekend because I just wanted to save some money so but uh, I'm thinking about the uh, the near future and uh, you know there's things there's things there are things um, I was writing some lesson plans uh, earlier today and it just dawned on me just how kind of fun fun this is and I just really kind of had another wave of kind of happiness and uh, it felt really good. Uh, earlier today I went to the mall and I got something called Zaru Udon and um, you might know Udon as like a thick wheat noodle. It's um, I think it's fairly common in the US now at like sushi places and stuff and uh, the problem with, with udon in the US is that it's a very kind of pre-made and then it kind of gets up because it sits in a airtight package usually it gets kind of like gummy and gooey and slimy but uh, if you have a real udon it should be like almost like a Italian um, al dente where you bite it and it kind of snaps a little bit maybe like a a good hot dog and uh, Zaru Udon is a uh, is a separate so the sauce or the soup is separated from the uh, actual Udon the noodles and you just kind of dip dip them in the uh, in the sauce called Suyu and and you eat them and uh, it's really nice and uh, I really I really enjoy it and there's a spot at the mall that makes the um, the noodles fresh every day they're not pre-made kind of nasty gummy slimy things like you have in the states so I was really happy to uh, to try that it's really expensive uh, for udon it's like nine dollars or 900 yen but uh, it's really nice and uh, it came with tempura you know what's really interesting in Japan, like a small thing is like in, in, in Japan they say tempura, tempura. So it's like 10, like the number 10, T-E-N, pura. Whereas in the States, I think for the most part, I, I'm pretty sure like 99.99% of people know it as tem with an M, T-E-M, pura. Uh, but um, yeah, and then when it's abbreviated here, it's called ten, like the number 10, T-E-N. So what I got, what I ordered was ten zaru udon, and it's really nice. It's really nice. The, the the tempura was really nice. It was like a shrimp and eggplant and uh, fish cake. Um, in Japan, there's a lot of fish cakes, um, probably more than any other Asian country. Uh, granted, they could all be descended from Chinese recipes, but. I don't know if China even eats that much fish cake anymore. Um, Japan and Korea both eat a lot, but Japan has tons of different shapes and tastes and colors and cooking methods. Some are fried, some are boiled, some are baked, some are, I don't know, stewed? I don't even, some of them are weird. But uh, the one we had today is called chikua, and it's traditionally shaped around a stick and then roasted over fire. So it has like a brown toasty outside and a really juicy kind of delicious snappy inside and uh, they sometimes they so it's a tra traditionally like a fried or, or grilled uh, temp uh, fish cake but then they deep fry it for tempura and it's really nice really nice but uh, yeah just a really solid day today it is wicked hot now we are out of the 70s we had 70 degree weather for all of last month and now we're into the 90s so it's punishing um, it's not you know Singapore bad but it is pretty rough Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.